It's finally out. It's Red Tobacco by Mancera. I did a first impressions video a few months ago, but today's video is a Safferbond.com contributor review video, and you're also gonna have a chance at winning a full bottle of this beautiful and big tobacco fragrance. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. If this is your first time on this channel and or you've been watching videos here and still haven't subscribed, please click the subscribe button below and also click the bell icon so you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. And it's finally here, as I said, it's Red Tobacco by Mancera. What a gorgeous looking bottle, look at this. I love this red color. It's absolutely stunning uh, looking bottle with the black and the gold detailing. I just, I absolutely love this bottle. The other thing is, uh, the juice inside is beautiful, but big and potent, but just, just absolute love for this juice. I, the reason I'm doing a, a full review is because I wanted to, and people have asked me to do a full review because they were really excited about the scent like I was in the first impressions video, but also because it really is a great juice. I think it's worth it because it's not only a beastly fragrance, it's uh, really long lasting, but I just thought it would be great for you guys to know what my findings are after I've worn it. Mancera's Red Tobacco launched about a month ago, 2017 launch. It retails for $180 for a 120 ml bottle. For notes in Red Tobacco, you've got saffron, cinnamon, incense, nutmeg, white pear, green apple, oud, patchouli, jasmine, tobacco, amber, guyac wood, sandalwood, Haitian vetiver, Madagascar vanilla, and white musk. It's a tobacco fragrance. Red tobacco totally makes sense to me. I was thinking about it, but yes, it does. What I get with this fragrance is mostly tobacco and mostly spicy amber. And I'm assuming that red comes from the spiciness and the amber together. It makes for red uh, tobacco. But what happens with this fragrance is, when you spray it, you get lots of spices at the top, like big spices, lots of cinnamon, lots of nutmeg with uh, saffron. It's a bit leathery there. And then you also have the smokiness from the incense. So that's how the fragrance starts. It's big. Gotta love big fragrances. And this is a big fragrance. And not to derail from the notes, but I think this is perfect for the season. Winter is gonna be awesome to wear this. After the, the spiciness kind of mellows out, you start picking up green apple. That green apple note is pretty big here. It does get a bit fruity, but not over the top fruity. It also has a little bit of pear and you start picking up oud and patchouli. The patchouli is I think also perhaps another dominant uh, note here. You get lots of patchouli with this fragrance. But then tobacco kicks in. Tobacco kicks in and it becomes a tobacco fragrance. And with this fragrance, I experience both a dry tobacco and there's a little bit of a moisture, like a moist tobacco. So you get both of those uh, experiences. I don't know, perhaps the moisture is coming from another note, but it's pretty dry when you're picking up the tobacco notes, but it's also a bit moist at other times. So it's, it's unique that way. And I think it's probably because of the amber. There's a creamy, a creamy quality as well with this. And I think that's from the Gayak wood because it start, starts to dry down to a more creamy, woody, vanilla, musky thing. I'm not leaving off the vetiver because Vetiver is also pretty big here. You get lots of doses of vetiver, which makes it kind of like earthy. It's a lot going on here, lots of notes, very long lasting fragrance, a very, very potent fragrance. And tobacco is amazing to me as far as the smell goes. I don't smoke personally, not at all, but when I smell tobacco, it's very, there's lots of memories that come to mind because I grew up around smokers. Dad smoked cigars, mom smoked cigarettes, the house, with smell of cigarettes and cigars. It's the cigars with that uh, extra kind of smells. Um, and also the, the hookahs also is another smell that kind of has left an impression. So this is kind of like a dream come true in perfume. If you like tobacco, if you like these like oriental style tobacco and uh, amber fragrances, this is it for you. This is probably one of the better uh, representations of a tobacco fragrance. But you gotta love tobacco and you gotta love amber. And who doesn't love those scents? Everybody should love them because they're so good. Overall, I'm, I'm, I'm super joyed with this fragrance. It's, it's excellent uh, quality-wise, smell-wise, because in the end, it was all about the smell first. And as soon as I smelled it, I knew it was a winner. And the performance on top of that, top-notch. So if you haven't tried Mancera's Red Tobacco, I highly recommend it, especially if you like tobacco and spicy amber fragrances. So. Do give it a try, I think you're gonna like it. But in the meantime, you can head over to safflerbond.com 
and participate in the giveaway. There's a full bottle giveaway for a USA subscriber of this channel and a, a registered user of safrabond.com. Go there, follow their rules, put your comments down and participate in the giveaway. Good luck with that. And also guys, since I did the first impressions video to now for the full review, have you tried Mancera's Red Tobacco? Do you like it? Are you interested in you know, picking up a bottle after you've sampled it from samples? Let me know your thoughts. Please put comments down here and we'll get a conversation started. Also guys, please like this video, please share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one, goodbye.